What's going on lads and welcome back to the channel. What is up with G? Hope you're good. Today we have got a really cool video where we're going to be showing you how to get the most bang for your buck using the experience points and the new times three experience boost that is ongoing here with this event and this campaign at the moment, right? So we're going to go through this. I do have a second video coming out on this that is going to be really, really good as well. But for this one, this is all about using up players that you might have accumulated over the last couple of months in preparation for eFootball 2024. And if also you have a lot of GP, but not that many trainers, I would give one piece of advice. Use this video, definitely stack up in as many trainers as you can. Just trust me on that, okay? But for this video, all we're going to do is go into the event and we're going to play with players that have the squad bonus. You can see it there in your game plan. If you don't have one of those squad bonus players, you can simply go back out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into contract here. You don't really need the squad bonus for this method, but I will show you an even better method um, that kind of takes into consideration some other stuff. This is a really good one for using up players that you have that you want to get rid of, but you can put them towards right, good players that you want to train up. So we're just going to sign players for zero GP. That's all we're going to do. We're going to sort the players on the whole database by zero uh, GP. We're going to sort them by lowest price to highest, and that will give us these free players. These are the default players you get. We're simply going to go back. It doesn't matter if they've got form arrows. doesn't matter if they've got good anything. We're literally just going to stack them in and use these as trainer, I suppose, farming trainers. That's what we're basically going to be doing here. Uh, it doesn't matter what players that you use. I will show you, as I said, a better method if you're looking to, to train up players that you want to keep in your squad, and that is going to be the next video. But for this one, this is a really good one to just get rid of a lot of the deadwood in preparation for eFootball 2024. So don't worry too much about whatever you have. We also have as well with this video showing you guys how to clear the agents and clear these bonuses every week while this campaign is on. This is just to do this legend difficulty. Now, a lot of people still don't know that you can actually switch within the game between you controlling the play and, you know, the compute, the AI controlling the play, right? So you can either sim the games or play the games yourself, or you can mix and match. So what I like to do is play on a fairly easy enough difficulty because you're guaranteed to get the points and to get the wins. And it just works way better towards getting experience points, towards getting um, the rewards and the event actually cleared. And it also goes through the objectives as well. So, you know, for Messi or whatever. You can switch this on whenever you want. And what I usually do is, as you see here, is I will score a goal. And then I'll just put the AI back and let it control and go and do a few push-ups or a few sit-ups. Or usually drink a cup of tea and just chill out and check out uh, TikTok or go back to work or whatever. One of those things. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to score a goal. Sometimes you might have to score two goals. But essentially, you're going to want to get the win in these events. And as I said, work towards completing the objectives, the events and of course getting that trainer XP, okay? With a lot of the players that we're gonna farm XP for. So once we have this match completed, you will see here that when we go back into our actual menu here, we will get our points. So this is gonna shoot up the experience points. You can also use substitutes. I will get into that in a second video because there's a couple of key parts that I'm leaving out of this video not to confuse you because this is a very separate video and a very specific purpose for this video which is, as I said, in preparation for eFootball 2024 to get rid of players that you don't really need, okay? So you're going to see at the bottom there, we have our two players that we have bought for zero coins, zero points, anything, zero GP, whatever. So we are going to go simply back out into our actual menu here. And as I said, this works towards the match pass and the objectives and the events as well. So it's very handy to do and it takes you nothing apart from a couple of presses on a pad and just a little bit of know-how and what you're doing. We're going to go back out here and we're going to go in to our, uh, one of our players that we just signed. And you can rinse and repeat this. So I'm showing you here one that we've already done. We have played about seven, eight matches in the event, maybe more, um, where we've just continuously done this, continuously played him. I think it took about 15, 16 matches in total. Uh, it depends on a couple of different factors, which I'll show you as well. But you can see here that we've maxed him out. Now, we're just going to literally just pump up everything here. It doesn't even make a difference. You don't even need to use these progression points. But just to show you that we train him from a 58 overall left back who we got for free into a 65 overall left back that is now going to have all these experience points, okay? So if you take the likes of Mount, who starts off in a level 1 for us, we might think, right, we want Mount into our eFootball 2024. We don't need this 65 left back because he's Deadwood. You know, he's not going to be somebody that we actually carry into eFootball 2024. But you can see with Mount here, I haven't played one game. He has zero progression points. So what we're going to do, instead of using our trainers, which we want to farm and we want to stockpile for eFootball 2024, we are going to use the legacy transfer to actually legacy transfer and pump in all the stats that we have just simmed and just gained and farmed with this guy 
into the actual player that we want to keep. So we're just going to pay 40,000 GP and we're going to get about 20 levels on mount. Now, this works on any player, right? As I said, I do have a two-parter to this video, so make sure you keep an eye on that. Make sure you get notifications turned on and that you're subscribed to the channel. I've got a load of cool videos coming soon um, like this to help you guys out. And then we're just going to train up Mount. And you can keep repeating that. You can do a legacy transfer with another player and max him out. So it's a really cool way to get rid of Deadwood in prep for 2024. And uh, yeah, if you liked what you see, don't forget to subscribe. So we're training Mount up there and we can just rinse and repeat that, baby. So yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit.